day two. This is the day we go for the hike. Just getting all our gear together. Go on the buses. Going to be hitting Kilimanjaro this morning. It'll be all rainforest, hot, clammy. We're looking forward to it. This is us at Kilimanjaro. The gates that we entered. Had to sign in officially in there. Got some last minute supplies. Pack lunch for today and some water. Some of the guys down there. The machine gate. This is Machine Camp, which is the first camp at the end of day one. We're 2,835 metres above sea level. It's quite a good day actually, nice and relaxed. Going to get some dinner soon, chill out. Get ready for day two.
you really like it. Shiriba Cave Camp, 3,800 meters above sea level now. Today was sell out of feet. Hey! <laughs> Five hours we were walking for feet. More than that, you think? Shut up, Seven. One. Caves. Not much elevation today, but 10 to 11 hours of walking going around the peak. So it's going to be a long day. As you can see, they pack up camp pretty quick. These portals are amazing. That's our, that's our food tents. Just finished breakfast. Be heading off next kind of 20 minutes or so. First decent night's sleep last night, but there's our target in the distance. Us arrived at Branco camp, third camp, third day complete. I'm gonna get some dinner here. It's been a long day, it's been about 10 hours of walking up and down the mountain for altitude training, like I said. 
felt okay, a little bit dizzy at times, but nothing major. Tomorrow, we're going to tackle Branco Wall, which is that. I don't know if you can see a kind of faint zigzaggy path going up there, but that's what we're tackling tomorrow. <sighs> Looking at a path that's leading up there like that, up the top. We'll cut up there, cut left. Peak still not in, but in sight. The peak is still hidden. Still a long way to go, guys. But <laughs> our camp's doing the far end. But good day, still feeling strong. Looking forward to the Branco Wall tomorrow. near enough at the top at Branco Wall. Set off at 6 o'clock this morning. Views are absolutely stunning. And at 11 o'clock tonight, we're going to get to the top of that. Bit breathless, but feeling good. We're now at Brufu camp, which is the last camp before summit. We set off today about 6 o'clock. It's now back at 3, half past 3 or something like that. A long slog today. Again, not too much of the altitude sickness. I've not felt sick or anything like that. I've just had maybe shortness of breath and a um, bit of a sore head and things. But apart from that, feeling okay. A few of the guys in the team have ha had it pretty bad, being sick, things like that, but plus thing is, they pushed on and we're all here, we're all here at the camp together, 
our guide says we look like a strong team, he's got very confidence that we're going to make it up to the summit. Can't show you the summit just now, there's quite a lot of cloud cover. It's back up in front of me there. But the plan is now we're going to sort our kit out. Get some rest. Uh, have some tea around about five. Go to bed right after that. And then we're up about 11 o'clock tonight. We're going to hit that. Hit that summit. <sighs> going to need everybody helping each other today. Push ourselves through. But I'm sure we'll get there. This camp's amazing. You can't even see this whole camp. But it goes on for about 3k apparently. It goes... Right the way up this hill just keeps going up. More and more camps. We're kind of near down the bottom, I think. Which means we've got the furthest to go when we're going to hit the summit. <laughs> but hopefully, the next time you see me, I'm perched on the top. <laughs> and the last 24 hours have been the toughest thing I've ever put my body through. Last night we got woke up at 11 o'clock and we headed for the, the summit about midnight. And we hit the summit. Yeah, I hit the summit. Uh, but it's the most tired I've ever felt in my entire life. Um, by the time we get back down to camp, it was 12 in the afternoon, so that's a solid 12 hours of walking. But it is absolutely stunning. But on the way back down, I actually felt as though I was ready to keel over. Altitude sickness isn't happening, but it was sheer exhaustion. So we're back down here. Um, we're at Millennium Camp now. We get back down from back down from the peak to camp. We had one hour's rest, packed up our stuff, and then another two hour walk down to this camp. And that's us making our descent now. So we've got a, an evening. A, relaxation and then we're up early tomorrow and we head right down off the mountain and have our celebration dinner tomorrow night so let's get these guys Okay, same. 